um, I have the privilege of turning it over to the Memphis Tourism President, Mr. Kevin Kane, for our last word. Uh, thank you, Frankie, and uh, great, great seminar today. Thanks to everyone who uh, organized and put this together. Uh, let me just say in closing, uh, you know, our industry has been at the top of the spear as uh, with this pandemic. And uh, if you look at the everything from the unemployments to the, the way the closures took place, you know, we have no attractions open, restaurants are takeout only, uh, hotels are just shells of themselves. So the good news is, as we are now entering in a phase where we are about to open our economy again, uh, you're going to see employment over the next couple of months spike uh, really increase uh, dramatically because uh, when you're totally shuttered, you don't need employees. Well, as soon as you start moving again, you've got to have those employees to, uh, to serve the people that will be coming back. So I do think that we're going to see some improvement in the employment numbers over the next couple of months as the economy starts to move uh, moving again, especially in tourism and hospitality. Just like the city and the county and the state, we are following the data. We are a data-driven organization. And uh, let me say for, for all of you, you know, we have offices in all around the world. We have people in Australia, Japan, the UK, uh, Germany. So, I mean, our ears are listening to what's going on in the global tourism and hospitality space. Uh, and uh, as Regina said earlier, the beautiful thing that Memphis has going for it is we're not a one market segment community. We attract visitors here from a very diverse, uh, very diverse uh, audiences uh, in a lot of different sectors. So we are going to be able to come back in some areas faster than we'll be able to come back in other areas. You know, I just will just, just say that, uh, you know, the tourists will not come back immediately. It is going to take a little bit of time once we start moving again uh, to get the visitors back. And uh, the last thing I'll say in conclusion, uh, the good news is, is that uh, while we've been going through uh, this uh, shelter in place, our, as Regina said earlier, our convention center is plowing ahead with the September completion date. The Hyatt Hotel, uh, which will be opening uh, at the foot of Beale and Riverside Drive will be open in January. And we got word from Lowe's Hotel Company, the 500 plus room hotel, that they are absolutely still totally committed to building that hotel in downtown Memphis. And they think they've only lost about 30 to 45 days as far as the time frame as it relates to that. So our destination is gonna be ready for this recovery. And uh, I just thank uh, everyone for their support. Tourism and hospitality, as we said at the beginning of the presentation, is uh, $3.6 billion, employs a lot of people and generates a lot of important tax revenue for our community and we're ready to get back to work. Frankie, thank you for this time today.